I'm lacking a little patience and I wanted to see if this thing would work. Um, so I got it, uh, I converted it um, from 460 to 230 or 220. Um, connected the um, forward reverse switch. Just kind of temporarily ran a potentiometer over here and uh yeah Let's see if i get lucky or not okay so that's power on or yeah looks like i got a couple red leds so that's the second one up from the bottom on the left side and the bottom one on the right so i'll have to see what those mean I don't know if that means I can't run it at all or, well, let's get the, okay, well, yellow light came on, um, and I got the green light, green seems good, so let's go ahead and move it forward, right here, I don't have the belts on, so. <laughs> Okay. Um, potentiometer over here, so let's, let me just set this here for a second. Sounds like it's speeding up and slowing down. That's cool. Okay. Let's go ahead and stop a while it's running. I've got the green, then the two red right under it. Let's go ahead and stop it and see if the brake works. Uh, made a funky sound, but it stopped. Went back to the same red. Let's go ahead and try reverse. That's working. The reverse speed thingy seems to work. Now does that bypass? I guess that's the next question. Does that bypass this? Okay, yeah. So my speed potentiometer doesn't do anything. Okay. So this thing's set up so when I have this, eventually I'll have the speed control right here. That's only going to be for forward. And the reverse is controlled here. Okay. Let's see. Um, back gear. It's locked up. Is there a... Oh, yeah, so right here, where's it at? Where am I at? Yeah, right there's a, that should kick back. It's not. Uh, oh, okay. I see an electrical wire right there. So I'll have to see where that wire goes. And, and uh, I mean, I have this one wire right here that's not hooked up to anything, and maybe that's what that goes to. And maybe that's one of those lights. I'm not sure. But if I push this in, let's see if I can do this. Well, let me switch it. Okay. Okay, yeah. So now I'm in back gear. Definitely. I mean, it seems to be spinning slow to me, but. Well, you know, I'm hearing some weird noises, and I've got some lights on there that red lights doesn't seem good. 
but I think I'm going to call it a successful test run. You now it seems to go forward in reverse, and um, I'll do some more research on this uh, factory solid state um, DC drive and uh, maybe get the belts on there and um, actually you know what I could do is I could uh, I can um, just check the RPM on the motor but uh, it would be nice I noticed that the the tack's not moving it's electronic and I know it gets some information from a wire that goes down to the motor um, and I don't know if that's where it gets all the information or if it also gets some information from the spindle itself spinning, you know, so oh, anyway, that's all I got for tonight. Uh, coolant pump, I haven't turned it on yet because, uh, I haven't switched it to 230 yet. It's still wired 440. That buzzing noise is the little cylinder thing, so maybe I can disconnect that. Um, it's um, right down here. It's a little, when you turn it on, it pops down, and it's supposed to go through this hole and lock it. But uh, I don't know if that's, uh, I'll figure out if that lines up. I wonder if it'll, I mean, this pin locates it, so I'm not sure. Just have to figure that out, too. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. Bye.